goodbye. So this is my little mining operation I got going on here. Um, this is a 3090 Tough. And these are little copper heat sink things. So you can see that I've been mining for about 20 minutes here almost. And the, uh, the memory junction temps are 90C. Now that's not even that bad for a stock card. I've seen way higher on a For the Win 3, right? And, the, and uh, Strix. But... Preferably, we want to get this down to 80 Celsius if we can. So, all I'm going to be doing is throwing these things, like, one per memory stick. And you can see I have a little fan blowing on the back plate there. Um, I just want to see if these things do anything. Link to these in the description below. Amazon affiliate links if you want to support the channel. Uh, but, don't, don't buy them until I figure out if they work or not. So, uh... I'm gonna throw them on right now and then let's see what happens. Right, forgot to mention, it looks like they come with little uh, double-sided tapes here to attach them on, which is pretty handy because I was wondering how I was gonna attach them, but it comes with tape, so that's good. So I literally just put like 12 of them on there, uh, one for each memory module, obviously. Now, I didn't change any of the thermal pads. I, I'm only using these things for now just because I want to see if you can lower the junction temps without cracking the warranty seal, right? Uh, I know it doesn't matter for us in North America because we're fortunate, but some regions it does matter, right? So let's see if this does anything first before we touch any thermal pads. All right, so we got a fan on it, 21 minutes, and it did absolutely nothing. You know, it was odd though. It's what's odd. Here, check this out. If I touch them with my hand, they, they're like, they're scorching hot. Like, it's actually burning me. So, they definitely are, they definitely are transferring heat away from the back plate. But, maybe the thermal pads are the lowest hanging fruit here. Um, I'm going to actually try adding the rest of them that I have. Maybe doubling them up might make a difference, but... I'm assuming that without thermal pads, this might not do anything, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so it's actually the next day now, and I legit went to Home Depot and bought a window fan. So it's actually blowing cold air into the house now. Um, and I can tell you that the temperature in the room here is actually at least six to eight degrees cool it's it's way like it was really boiling and muggy in here before now it's actually quite cold in here right that's kind of the purpose so we only got a two degree improvement so like a six to eight degree drop in ambient temperatures and only an eight degree drop on the uh on the tough here I, like, I thought maybe that the lowest hanging fruit was the ambient temperatures, but it's not. It is actually the thermal pads, I believe now. So, I, I, pu I put on the damn heat sinks. I put a window fan in there. It's cold as hell in this room right now. We're still at 88 Celsius on the memory temp. So, last step. I'm going to take this thing apart. And we're going to put some Fuji polys on it. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah, it is the thermal pads. This stuff is is garbage. Um, which is a shame because the, the card itself is just, like, very well built otherwise. Like, it kind of sits like this, right? But they just use such crappy thermal pads on this thing. Uh, I also guess they, don't, they didn't expect people to be mining on these things as hard as they do, right? But... Yeah, this is almost like a necessity now. Otherwise, you're going to burn your card out. You know what I mean? All right, here's the problem right here. 
Look at these rear thermal pads. They're like almost three millimeters thick. That's insanity. That's that's definitely why those those copper heat sinks didn't do anything. This is the lowest hanging fruit right here. You you just can't have thermal pads that thick and with such a low kilowatt rating, right? Or a kilowatt per meter Kelvin or whatever. But um yeah, so this is exactly why. All right, I just finished up here. I only had uh, one millimeter pad, so but I just doubled up two layers of them, so that should work fine. Let's throw it together and check the temps. All right, so we've been mining for almost an hour now, and it's at 82. It kind of bounces up to 84 once in a while. It's not really doing it right now, but it's it, you can you know what i mean it's it's pretty much there it is it's pretty much 83 so so we dropped seven degrees with the thermal pads here um not as good as i thought it would be but i would say as long as it's under like 85 we're good to go for longevity my water cooled one gets about 74 so 10 more degrees on an air cooler I think this is acceptable. So I'm going to link those Fuji polys down below in case you want to do this mod yourself. Um, I guess with 3090s, the lowest hanging fruit is the thermal pads. And I actually have a uh, Strix 3090 over here mining. And uh, she's been going for nine hours and it's pegging 94. So the Strix was actually even worse than the tough was out of the box. So I'm gonna have to do all the thermal pads on this one too, but yeah, this is, this, this right here, this is way too damn hot for 24 seven mining, I would say. So if you got anything above 90, you're gonna wanna do this. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button.